in the aspect that you have come today, you have created a brand for yourself. Now, yeah. what, are, what are some of the uh, challenges that you faced while creating this brand? Because there are some inner demons, there are biases, a lot of things that you would have battled to be where you are today. I think firstly is finding my voice. I still today would describe myself, if we had to divide the world into introverts and extroverts, I would describe myself as an introvert. I am more of a listener versus someone who speaks. I've had to learn um, how to be an extrovert because of what I do in the corporate world, but also what I do for the community. So, but at my resting state, I am an introvert. So finding my voice was the first big one for me. Um, and I think the biggest misconception is that you gain confidence and then you do the task, but I have learned that you have to do the task to gain confidence. So for example, if I am not one to speak up in a meeting, you know, when I was starting out in my career, because I simply didn't have the confidence. So I had all these things in, you know, the voice in your head that says, maybe what you're going to say is not that important. Or when you say something, someone's going to interrupt and you're going to let them interrupt you. Uh, someone's going to steal your idea and you're going to let it be because maybe that person has a good reason and is going to make your idea better. Uh, whatever, whatever voice in your head prevents you from speaking up. One of the things I forced myself to do was to say something like I'd say, excuse me. And then the whole room would look at you and then you'd have to say something. <laughs> I'd force myself into those situations. So finding my voice is the first one. Second, uh, when you have that voice, I think, you know, how do you use it to um, share with others? I guess social media is a great platform. As an example, I use LinkedIn a lot, but I still think about, oh, should I really say that? And I say, I ask myself less of that now. And the biggest difference is I care less about what other people think. <laughs> um, and I choose to only hear the voices of those who genuinely care about my well being and success. I have chosen deliberately every year to ignore more voices that do not care about my well being and success. And I think if you can get to that place, you become more brave about what you want to say um, and you can get your true point of view across as long as you're doing it, you know, respectfully, with kindness, all of those things, right? You're not trying to um, do it in a way that's disrespectful or creates discomfort. Um, as long as, I think it's okay to create discomfort, but in a respectful way, if you're trying to invoke a dialogue. So I think finding my voice, only paying attention to those that truly care about my well-being and success. Uh, I think having a point of view is so important. Um, and to do that, I have discovered that the most lethal, in a good way, superpower that you can have for your career is the ability to read data and tell stories. Yes. So if you can do those two things, it's a superpower. Um, so I'm, I try to do that as much as possible because people remember stories. 